Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In previous session, we discussed about different types of computer networks with example. I have mentioned complete computer network and security subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss different types of network devices. Let's start the session. Now, the first point is what exactly network devices. See, as we discussed earlier, there are different types of networks like local area network, metropolitan area network and wide area network. Under that, there are different types of devices like mobiles, computers, printers, scanners and different electronics devices. So what network device do? Network device connect all the devices with each other and also they connect multiple networks with each other and after connecting they send quickly safely and accurately information between the devices and all over the network so this is the main working of network device they connect all the device and send information with each other which is also referred as a hardware and networking hardware see there are multiple networks so this all networks send lots of information and lots of data packets between each other. What exactly data packet? In data packet, source address, destination address and whatever the information they want to send. All these things are stored into the one packet which is called as data packet, right? And this data packet get transmitted over the different network. That's why there are some conjunction, degradation, this kind of issues have generated because there are lots of information sending, lots of communication process in between that. So this network device solve this kind of conjunction issue. They try to perform smooth communication between the devices and between the different network. They try to send accurate information on accurate destination, right? So this is called as network devices. Now, there are bridge, hub, switch, router, modem, repeater and gateway. This kind of network devices are available. Generally, these network devices are used. Now, let's discuss one by one. Now, the first basic network device is hub. See here, this is a hub device. Now, see here in this image. Consider that this is a local area network. Hub is work under the local area network only. Now in this LAN there are total 5 PC, PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4 and PC5. Now this PC1 want to send information to the PC3. So what happened exactly here? PC1 send information to the hub because all the devices are connected to the hub. Okay. And after, uh, after getting this information, hub send this information to all the other devices connected in the same network. So this is called as hub. They broadcast information to all the devices under the network. So one side, this is a disadvantage also, right? So this disadvantages is resolved in next network devices like switch and router. So basically hub work under only in local area network. They generally used in small network. It supports only 24 devices and it works on half duplex mode means either they can send information or receive information. They can't perform sending and receiving both operation at the same time. That's why this is a less expensive network device. In computer network, there is a OSI model. We will discuss OSI model in detail in next session. You just remember this thing. Hub is work on first layer of OSI model that is physical layer. So this is a hub. Next. Now the next network device is bridge. See here this is a bridge device. Now see here in this image. See this is a local area network 1 and there are multiple devices are there and this is a local area network 2. So basically bridge device connects more than one local area network together okay and perform communication in between that now bridge is work on the mac address concept see what exactly mac address 
whatever the devices present in network so each device having their own physical address see here in lan 1 there is a printer cpu computer in lan 2 also cpu and multiple computer there is a hub bridge right so each and every devices present in network having their own physical address which is called as mac address clear now see here what is the working of bridge suppose pc1 in lan 1 want to send information to the pc5 in lan 2 now what happen pc1 send information to the bridge now bridge check the mac address which information they want to send data so they check this mac address in the lookup table okay this is a lookup table every devices mac address is stored there so they check pc5 mac address and according the mac address they send this information to the pc5 right so this is a working of bridge if mac address is not found they can't send the information in hub they send information all the devices but here bridge send the information between the accurate source device to destination device and this bridge is work on the second layer of osi model that is data link layer clear next now the next network device is switch so switch is more advanced network device as compared to hub and bridge see here this is a switch device now see here in this image so this is a local area network which is connected to the wide area network before bridge is work on connected multiple lan network only okay so switch connected multiple different networks so switch is sometimes also work as a bridge how see here suppose this pc1 want to send information to pc2 okay so pc1 send information to first switch switch check the mac address okay switch check the mac address which pc they want to send information and uh, if there is a pc2 mac address is there right so they send information to the pc2 means this is the same working as a bridge now what advance is there so they perform error checking is there suppose pc1 want to send information to the switch switch check that whether the particular information is accurate or not whether there is any error in the particular information any fault in the particular information right if the particular information is error free then only they send information to the destination address if there are any errors they does not forward the packets switch has multiple ports than bridge and switch is work on the full duplex mode means they perform sending and receiving both operation at the same time clear so this is a work of switch they check mac address and perform error checking operations and it works on the osi model second layer that is data link layer clear next now the next network device is router i think you all are familiar with the router uh, you also familiar with the router at your home at your school or colleges right so this is a router device router connect multiple networks together see here in this image so this is a router some devices are connected with the internet ethernet cable the printer printer is connected uh, through ethernet cable then this pc is connected through ethernet cable right and some a uh, devices are connected through the wifi right means there are some wired router and some wireless routers right so they perform the both functionalities now here suppose this computer 1 want to send information to this particular uh, computer 3 right so at that time what happen computer 1 send information to the router so router check the ip address okay previous devices check the mac address but here router check the ip address see each and every computer each and every pc having their own ip address so computer send the information router check the ip address of particular pc means which computer they want to send data so ip address is match with the computer 3 so they send information to the computer 3 right so this is a work of router they analyze the particular information according the ip address and they choose the best path for that and they also ensure that 
the particular information arrive safely and quickly basically this router also work as a firewall they block unauthorized access of the network see for example there is a wifi in your college so this wifi having a particular password right unauthorized user cannot access that password so this is called as router they provide the access only authorized users and this router is work on the third layer of osi model that is network layer now these are the different companies they develop this router like cisco tpling dlink netgear etc next now the next network device is modem see here this is a modem so basically modem modulates and demodulates the signal how see here now uh, there is a user on that computer they want to access some information on the internet through the internet okay so this user send or request to the internet for accessing a particular information so this computer know the digital signal computer know the 0101 format signals right and this network understand the analog signals now there is a modem modem convert the digital signals to the analog signals and this process is called as modulation now network reply to the user they send the information to the user what they want so at that time they send the analog signals now there is a modem modem convert analog signals to the digital signals in 0101 format and this is a waves format right because computer understand the digital signals so this process is called as demodulation so this is a work of modem so modem maintain the dedicated connection between the internet service provider they get the proper internet connection towards your home and businesses and you can connect only specific number of devices to the internet through the modem now this modem is generally useful for the growth of online services different e-commerce services remote work and digital innovation purpose that's why this is called as modem they converts digital to analog analog to digital signals now the next is repeater so basically repeater work like a signal booster i will give you one example for that purpose see suppose when you want to ride a bicycle up to 10 km distance your target is 10 km so at the starting while riding a bicycle you feel good or energetic right but while riding a bicycle after 5 km you feel some tiredness right because you continue ride the bicycle from 5 km so at that particular time you feel some tiredness so you required some energy drink or booster drink right so after taking you this particular drink you again feel good and you move forward towards your destination right so this energy drink is also work as a repeater basically see here in this image so there is a particular network tower this user uh, this user get the range from this network tower this is a very good signal but this user suppose uh, get a far distance or to long distance from this tower they get a weak range weak signals right so at that time repeater is used repeater convert this weak signal and provide the amplified signal basically they try to get a proper amplified signal strong signal towards a particular person so this is a work of repeater repeater also works on physical layer that is first layer of osi model and they try to reduce the error and loss of data if there are any weak signal from long distance there is a repeater repeater enhance those signal amplify those signals okay and provide the strong signals towards the destination so this is a repeater now at the end there is a gateway the name suggest that gateway so this gateway is connected to the two or more dissimilar networks it connected to lan with wan lan with man then man network with wan network in this way okay see here 
suppose this is a lan network and this is a wan network that is wide area network okay and this lan network want to send information towards in this wan network wide area network so at that time what exactly what happen so gateway gateway monitor and control all the incoming and outgoing network traffic they check that which what is the source what is the destination which types of information have sent so they check everything right so they monitor all the incoming outgoing network traffic between the network different networks another use is gateway also work as a translator see this lan network having different architecture different data formats and different protocols and this wan network having different architecture different protocols different uh, data formats right so this gateway act as a translator you can transmit the data between the network still they has the different protocols different architecture right so this is a work of gateway gateway is operates on the all seven layers of osi model and uh, we can't access the internet without the gateway right they check or monitor all the incoming outgoing network traffic so this is a gateway now as per your previous year question paper they ask this the same question uh, multiple time like explain router and switch for four marks basically you have to prepare all the network devices so thank you keep learning